as a society, we always strive to be more productive. And every day, someone new is looking for the next best planner to organize their life, find the best way to minimize distractions, and some are even turning to YouTube to watch the next best self-help video. But in 2025, what if I told you you can turn to simple coding projects to get ahead in your life? Every day, big companies like Facebook, Amazon, Google, Netflix, and so many more use Python to automate tasks, build apps, and basically run their business. And you can take advantage of Python too. If you're a web dev, you can use things like Django and Flask to build web applications. Or if you want to build the next groundbreaking LLM, you can use things like TensorFlow and PyTorch to work on machine learning models. If you're somebody that sends repetitive emails every single day, schedules repetitive tasks every single day, or just have a lot of things that you do on a frequent basis, you could use something like Python to create scripts and create programs that can automate that for you. If you're someone like myself who likes to keep track of their money, you could create a dashboard to track your spending habits and maybe learn of some trends in your spending that you didn't even know you had. Today, I'm gonna to give you some simple projects that can help you to elevate your life and reduce the effort you put into those boring tasks. Whether you're brand new to Python or you've been working on it for a while, LLMs such as ChatGPT and Copilot make it easier than ever to learn to use Python and you can take advantage of it to help simplify your life. Let's start with email. If you're writing a daily email or a weekly email, Look to Python. You can create a pretty simple project in Python and automate those tasks and never really worry about it. You can change who you want to send it to, when you want to send it, and what the body of the email has. And if you ever have to change what you need the email to say, it's pretty easy to just go change some of the code in your Python script and let it keep running. It'll make your life a lot easier. And while it only may be saving you five minutes every day or every week, that time adds up and it's more time to yourself to do what you want to do or get other tasks done. If you are really into tracking your spending, look at creating a Python project for it. You can track the different areas where you spend money, such as food, clothing, going out to eat, whatever you want, and create trend lines and see different patterns in your spending habits. It's something that allows you to one, learn how to code in Python, two, help yourself figure out your finances to set you up better in the future. Depending on how in-depth you actually want to go with this project, you could keep it really simple and do just the bare minimum, or you can go in-depth a bit more and utilize some Python packages to allow you to get even better detail and really understand what you're doing with your money. With the introduction of ChatGPT and other LLMs, it is super easy nowadays to create these Python projects without putting in very much effort at all. You can automate your life, save yourself some time, and you just barely need to understand what you're doing to actually make it work. And if you follow a quick YouTube tutorial on how to actually use your script, you can get up and running in just a couple hours. Now, I would highly suggest that you actually focus on learning Python because if you ever need to create a new script, edit it, or maybe ChatGPT doesn't give you a fully working piece of code, you still understand how to fix it and how to actually get it to run. I also think that learning how to code is a skill that a lot of people should start getting into because coding is going nowhere and understanding code is really important. It helps you with problem solving skills and you can use it in the future for doing more coding projects. If you're going to school to learn how to code or computer science or whatever, it's a great learning place to understand what you're doing and really get into Python without doing anything too crazy. My final project that I would suggest getting into is home automation. If you're part of that group of people that wants to make your home a smart home and really integrate everything, you can do that with Python and you can basically turn your sprinklers on, see when people get home, control your thermostat. You can make a Python project and you can really integrate everything together. It's a super good learning experience and also who wouldn't want to control their entire house and all of their smart devices. I know a lot of things have apps nowadays, but you could create your own custom program to make it all a little bit more uniform instead of having one app to do all of these different things. Like I said earlier, it is so easy for people to code now with ChatGPT and Copilot and everything. 
It is so, so simple to automate those monotonous tasks in your life. I hope this video kind of inspired you to see what you can do with Python automation, and I hope it inspires you to pick up just a little bit of coding. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Leave your thoughts and comments down below, and I'll see you next time.